Hello, in this video, we're going to be going over Unreal Engine's brand new feature, Motion Matching. This is a query-based animation pose selection system. You can use the Motion Matching system as an alternative to the traditional state machines or blend spaces. And unlike traditional animation systems, Motion Matching can make informed animation pose selections from a set of animation data to create a responsive and reactive animation system without the need to set up transition or blending logic between animation sequences. So in this video, we're gonna go over how you can set up the motion matching system with your character. I'm also going to include the project files for this tutorial so you can play around and explore the motion matching system if you just wanna do that. Also, next month in June, Unreal Engine is set to release a free motion matching project with over 500 AAA high quality animations. Although if you can't wait, that's what this tutorial is for. To get started, we first need to enable two plugins. If we go over to Edit, then Plugins, in the search, look for Motion Trajectory, and just make sure that you check this. Click Yes, then look for Pose Search. Also just check this, your Unreal Engine will ask to basically restart so that these plugins can take effect. Just make sure to click this button and restart your Unreal Engine project. Next, we're gonna create our motion matching system. So our motion matching system will automatically tell our character what animation it needs to play. I'm gonna be providing a bunch of free animations that you can use for your motion matching project. They'll be attached somewhere in the description of this video. Make sure to download them. And then I'm just gonna to go to my characters folder, animations folder, and I'm just going to import the animations here. You can just select all of them and drag them in. And for the skeleton, you can just select the SK mannequin. Then go import all. That should import all of the animations. We're now ready to create our motion matching system. If we just go over to our content folder, right click and create a new folder, and just call this motion matching. Open it up. And then what we want to do is just right click, go animation, select motion matching, and select the Pose Search Schema. This basically will store our motion matching configuration and settings. For the Skanton, select our character, so that's the SK Mannequin. And I'm just gonna leave this at the default name, New Pose Search Schema. We can open this up. For now, we don't need to change any setting. This asset is basically used to link your animation databases to the query system of the motion matching node, and defines the data that will be used to query in order to make animation selections. But for now, we don't need to change any settings here. We can close this. Next, we just want to right click, go animation and select motion matching and select the pose search database. Then we want to select our new pose search schema. And I'm just going to call this my motion matching database. Inside here, we can basically define the animations which we want to use with our motion matching system. We just want to open this up. And then if you press control space, this should open up the content drawer and I'm just gonna to go to my character, to the mannequin, and to the animation. And to basically use them with our motion matching system, I can just, um, in here, look for MF, that will filter the animations, and just select all of them, and then drag them onto here. And these animations are gonna be used in our motion matching system. And one more thing with these animations, in order to make sure that they work with the motion matching system, we need to make sure that they have root motion enabled. So in order to do that, if we just select all of these animations, right click, and go, and go asset actions, and then we're gonna go edit selection in property matrix. We're gonna to go to root motion and just enable root motion and force root lock and just go save. To preview the animations, you should be able to just select them and it should appear. If I hold shift, it'll basically preview all of those animations. Okay, nice. The next thing to do is set this up with our character. So I'm just gonna save this, close it, then we just want to go over to our third person character and to the blueprints. We just want to go over to the components and go add and look for character trajectory. We're going to use this with our motion matching system. We can just compile this. Then the next thing we're going to do is create a new animation blueprint for our motion matching system. So we'll use the power of motion matching to basically calculate which animation our character should play. So inside of this folder, I'm just going to right click and go animation, select an animation blueprint. I'm going to select my SK mannequin and go create and I'm just gonna call this my motion matching animation blueprint. We also just wanna go back to our third person character and to their mesh and make it so they're using this motion matching animation blueprint. We can compile this, close it, and then let's open up our 
motion matching animation blueprint we just want to go over to the event graph and on try get pawn owner this will basically get a reference to whatever is using this animation blueprint we just want to cast to our bp third person character connect from event blueprint update animation to hit, update animation into here then we just want to drag off here and look for get character trajectory and promote this to a variable and connect from here into here then go over to the animation graph and we just want to right click and look for motion matching for the database we want to select our motion matching database then we want to drag off here and look for pose history then select it and then we want to go to a trajectory and select our characters trajectory trajectory and then we just want to connect this into here go compile close this and if i play my game unroll engine is automatically calculating which animation i should play using our motion matching system and if you want to see the um, debug for it what we can do is just enter a console command and look for character a character trajectory debug then add a spacebar and then add one go enter and then you should see the motion matching line and then if you want to remove that line we enter the same command a character trajectory debug spacebar and then zero and then if you want the project files they'll be available for free and then one more thing we can't really see um the backwards animation if i just open up my third person character and i'm just gonna make it when i press the z key and i'll just drag in my character movement i'll look for set controller desired rotation and just make sure that this is checked then i'll just drag off here and look for set orient rotation to movement and make sure it's unchecked and then i'm just going to use the flip flop node so if we look for flip flop and then i'm just going to copy this paste it connect from b into here uncheck this and then check this and go compile and if i go play and then press z and orient rotation to movement my backwards um animation will work and it makes it more clearer to see how the other animations work if i just press z again then i'll be using my normal orient rotation to movement so that is how to set up motion matching inside of Unreal Engine. If you enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to learn how to make even more cool things in Unreal Engine, like a 2D platformer, an FPS game, a melee combat system, and more, make sure to check out my website, Unreal Engine University. Bye!